morning everybody this is another episode where i'm gonna be doing art trolling today i think because i can't do anything else until my other bits are in so yeah i'm just gonna start going through heating up the arches and i'll do a little demo of how i'll do it because i know a few people on my instagram have asked how's best to do it and i'm not the best at doing it but i have done it on a few cars and it has worked quite well so take me with a bit pinch of salt For whatever reason, these uh, bolt holes don't probably fit. You'd think they'd make them pretty universal, but apparently not. So now I've got to go and file all these holes out. Right, so I've got that bolt down in three places. These other ones are for 12 mil bolt holes. Don't ask why. Um, centered so that when it rolls, it rolls the arch. Obviously a lot of European cars have dome shaped arches so that doesn't work, but this seems to roll from point to like point here. Symmetrical, which is nice, which means these arches are round. So yeah, I'm just gonna start heating up this, um, this arch line with a heat gun. Don't get it too hot because your paint will start to bubble. Um, yeah, get it so it's like all hot to touch sort of thing. Yeah, and then just start rolling. Nine out of 10 times your paint will crack. I don't think I've ever had a car where the paint doesn't like start to at least chip off. I'm expecting this to not go any better either because these arches have been really badly painted at some point. Let's see how it goes. just done some arch rolling <clears throat> I noticed it was poking out a little bit far up front so I've just beaded that back with a rubber mallet and a bit of wood still nice and flat and um, this is what you've got to be careful of on most European cars ever it kicks out here see so luckily this I can bend this back and not worry too much but in an ideal world that should be bolted in two places but because European and money saving the rest of it it's not but yeah i'm pretty happy with how flat that's laid up there i don't really see it too much but yeah that's all nice and flat so there's no sharp edges i'm going to chuck a wheel on there and see how much further we've got to go and go from there yeah so i just chucked a wheel on there and uh i'm pretty happy with that to be fair this is obviously droop height so when that comes up hopefully this should just the sidewall protectors should just poke into that if not i can trim that off I will probably end up getting new tyres for these because let's get a bit low over there. But yeah, I'm well happy with that. That's come up pretty decent. Right, so now this side's done. I'm happy with this. The tyre fits nice, so this side's done. I've got to cut this bit out because obviously this bit's not going to fit now where I've got all these clips. So I'm going to chop that out there, leave a little strap here so that that's still supported. Yeah, so that's a bit of cut now. Um, so now I've got decent clearance when my wheels go on. Yeah, so next job is to just carry on and do the rest of the arches and start bolting things back. So I've just done this side as well. Uh, seems to have gone all right. They seem to be relatively rolled from factory, but see they're not flared. So I've just gone over and done flattened that off and pulled it out a little bit like that. Uh, I've got to be careful not to pull this out again these are made out of fucking plastic or whatever yeah so i'm just gonna throw a wheel on this side as well make sure it's symmetrical to the other side and jobs are good then onto the rear i just thought i'd throw both sides on for reference so that side you got about 10 mil or so there just about the same so i think my tone's all over the place at the moment anyway because that's straight down the car and it's it's like that exaggerated 
onto the rears. But that's the first time I've done that without cracking a paint on this car, so I'm well happy with this. It's going really nicely. So you might be able to see flattened this lip off here because it was about it was this all the way around so I've just curled that up so it's nice and flat now. Obviously you can't do much about here but your tire shouldn't be anywhere near that anyway your tire should be like down there so yeah well happy with that. I had to drop the suspension because um the this arm's too long well, it's not too long but the sag height of the suspension is well up in there. So yeah I had to drop the shocks. My new wheel bolts have just arrived. So they're wobble bolts, but there's ones that are on here are wobble bolts anyway, which I find a bit strange from a factory. But it should allow me a little bit of leeway if I am driven these by hand that I can get it wrong by a small, very small amount. But yeah, buzzing. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw all four wheels on it now. All the arch rolling's done and I'm happy with it all being symmetrical. And it's come out pretty good actually, I'm quite happy with that. No cracks in the paint, which I haven't actually done before. Maybe I've heated it up enough this time, but yeah, spot on. So that one just comes out just towards the lip of the tire, which is perfect. And this one's exactly the same. Fronts are about right. I'm presuming that the fronts will like curve in a little bit when, when there's some pressure on them, hopefully. And this one's exactly the same. So the next step is to take all the suspension off, off the front and uh, then I can swap over the springs and do all that stuff and then it'll be a case of doing the hubs when they come in. <laughs> 